So this next drill is our kettlebell hinge with our slider. So you need a kettlebell. I prefer, this is 20 pound kettlebell. I like this one, I can really feel it. Um, obviously if you're a young guy, you may go with something lighter. Then I've got my ProBoard slider. You can find these anywhere. Uh, you can find these at ProBoards.com. We've got a discount if you need one for bands and sliders. And what I want to do is get my glove, get my kettlebell, put my foot on the slider, put this kettlebell just right here where the weight's really kind of laying right there on the back of my sh shoulder. And what we're going to do right here, my hands are going to be, my glove hand is going to be if my hand was in my glove. Obviously my throwing hand is here, it's a right handed thrower. And what we want to do is we want to hinge, letting this kettlebell push me back into this hinge. And as I start to sit, I'm going to start to separate. And when I go forward, you'll see my hand and my foot go in order as I drive my back knee that way. If I go here, my head's going to slide forward and I'll collapse. We want to make this really controlled. It's going to be slow leading with the heel, leading with the back pocket. So I'm going to roll into my back hip as I start to roll into my hinge right here, drive, glove, foot. Why is the glove and foot important? That we want those to work in unison. We watch the top throwers in the world. Everything flows together. It's almost like doing a jumping jack. When the hands go out, the foot goes out. Okay. Again, foot's on the slider, kettlebells up, good posture making sure I'm closed, hands where they normally would be, if I'm going to separate from there, and I'm gonna separate, sit, and slide with that left foot, okay? Boom, and you should be able to just hold right here, and you'll feel all that tension in that glute, hammy, and quad. All right, give that one a shot.